Hey guys, it's Dre Eden. Welcome to Extensual Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys a collective reading. Right before Halloween, if you celebrate Halloween. And remember, all these messages might not resonate, but we take what do and we leave the rest. I always pray off the camera, but I'm going to ask spirits and you guys love and light. And that if you find any messages today, that they find you in the best mind, body, and spirit. And I'm going to jump right into this. Queen of Cups. Okay, collective, let's get right into this. <clears throat> okay, so basically what I see just from the overall situation is that some people in the collective are really feeling themselves um, emotionally. You passed a test that was basically came to you for you to either make a decision on your stability, on your well-being, um, somewhere on your feelings where you used to give up on yourself before, you took a stance on that and it really, you know what I'm saying, made things in your situation a little more better. Put it like that. Because when you listen to spirit or whoever, you know, you guys pray to, um, you unlock certain situations within your emotional realm because you as the emotional person, you as a, in your mental strengths are very different. So when things come to, um, you know, confront you within that and you stand up for yourself, um, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. So your emotional capacity right now is very high. And that might, you know, trouble some people. <laughs> or a lot of people. Because you're no longer, you know, standing there, you know, looking defeated. And with that, you're going to move on to a situation which give you um, a certain healing and a certain justice within that, whoever I'm talking to. <laughs> I also see that you making the emotional stand is going to um, leave you walking out on somebody. Because this is as above, so below. So, um... Yeah, that emotional stance that you got, got you walking right out the door and uh, they ain't gonna like that. There's a lot of hope and wealth coming in this um, within to you. you. It's like you're gonna make a dramatic change.
What is that? Eight of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's crying. Yeah, somebody's going to be very upset about this emotional change that you got coming through. But it's only for the best of your well-being. And you're going to big up major. So this could be in business. This can be in health. This can be in beauty. So whatever you're going for, whatever you're doing is going to... Yeah. That's going to be beautiful. And then some of you guys, a certain information will come to you in a form of either something you really love or something you really dislike. But it'll be for you to make a decision within yourself because um, that would definitely lead to a death coming up. Hmm. Patience. Archangel Joseph L. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, you need nurturing and patience. So, as you move into this newness and, you know what I'm saying, this new way of feeling, um, you definitely want to stay there, like stay high grounded in your um, emotional stance because that's what's going to attract what you need, the people, places, and things that you're going to run into. That's going to attract abundance, even within your money, because then you have a certain type of focus. I like this energy. Let's get one more because that couldn't, that was real straight and forward. <laughs> for a certain type of people. Let's see where we're going. Hmm? You don't want to come on again. Some people out there getting them jobs done, I see. That's personal work three of pentacles so if you're working on a job aspect you want to keep going on that i know that's hard that looks very hard <laughs> but you guys got it stay focused uh, emotional feelings Some of you guys are assessing the things you want. Oh, 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 That's big, boys. That, 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 that's big, boys. <laughs> oh, this one is really simple. Okay. Some of you guys out there is getting a lot of work done, pushing forward in your situations that you have, basically um, looking over everything in every situation. And people are seeing this kind of new grass and personal movement that you guys are doing, right? And then you're making decisions on your well-being of how you're going to move forward, even if that has to do with um, really taking the emotional stance within your own self, not really letting other people dictate how or when or what situations you're going to go into, right? And this is going to give you straight abundance. There is not going to be no shot of a doubt that you ain't going to win, shine, or grow off of any of this situation that you guys got going on now. What that is, is a power of manifestation. 
this is beautiful. So whoever this is for, y'all go ahead now. I need to be in this energy right here. Because <laughs> this ain't me right there. This is beautiful, though. So I love to see it. It's wonderful. <laughs> So these decisions that you're making on your abundance, um, you're taking the right road. There's nothing that you're not doing. This is even in love. I see some of you guys, and this don't have necessarily to do with you loving a person. It don't mean that a person got to be loved. Some of y'all need to find out the qualities of love or what you find into yourself. Once you find your hobbies or, you know, the things that you like to do that is penniless. You know what I'm saying? That's the things that you find love and wealth into. And that's when you're able to love other things people, places, and things once you find the little loves within yourself. But what you guys are doing is you're going to take a decision on venturing off on your own mind stream and things you got going on, or you're going to take the dark road. Now, let me tell you this. The manifestation within the dark road still leads to justice, but it looks a little long that way. That means going through your shadow and not really going through the light even though the shadow can be abundant and blessed also because you're going to learn a lot in there it's still a little dark i say you work with in your intuition and let that be your guide because that's going to come up to some things and these people that um don't understand your manifesting grounds and natures they're not supposed to it's yours and that's the only reason why let them speculate. Let them do things. You stay straight and forward within what you're going for. And that's going to be there. Love is something, like I said, that you hold quality in. So those things that you hold quality in. If you hold quality in a person that shows you no quality, then you still going to see value in that. But, you know, are your needs being met? I don't think so. It's saying right here. Whether you choose to do that, I'm not here to tell you what to do, right? I don't know your life. But whether you choose <laughs> to do that, it's still going to come from an abundant place because it's still value and learning that. So this is what this is saying. I li I kind of like this one. The first one is like uh, touch and feel. This one is basically saying I'm making the decision to walk out on my own glory and knowing that the other path don't got shit going on for me, Right? Devil card meaning something when it holds you stagnant, holds you back, keep you there. No. You're looking out on a scene, holding your options, holding that passion within you to see what you're going to make it through. And you obviously do because the magician comes to transform, right? And that it is, gives you justice. It's beautiful. I like that one. That's beautiful. It's a lot more here about um, um, holding your bounds. What want what want to hold you? What wants to hold you back? Um, the old you, the old things that you used to go through, the old people that you used to see, the old huh, it, that's the situation that's going to hold you back because they want to keep you captured or keep a grasp on the situation. It's like okay, just in case, you know, just in case anything happened, you know what I'm saying. These lower energies want to attach to you because they're like, well, just in case. Not that they mean you no good and they know it. So uh, it's just, I, I don't understand that. But you are abundant. You're going in the right place. You're understanding your own value. Not really caring what the naysayers are saying you're taking a leap of faith on your own considering your options not fucking with these people over here and looking at your main goals in business i like this just to be nosy Oh, because I always want to say that, yes, there is pain here. <laughs> but the thing about the pain that is here, you, um, usually the collective go through their pain issues really quick. Or we so busy or we so we don't really recognize the pain because we get through it um, dramatically. You know how we handle pain. 
So, <laughs> the thing is about that is how you handle it. Like I said, you could take the dark road and still get to your abundance. But, you know, like I said, it's dark over there. I don't think, you know, we want to do that. It looks more brighter on the other side. But it's your decision and it's your life, right? I just wanted to say that because people be like, oh, you didn't say nothing about the bad shit that's going on in my life. Well, usually, like I said, the collective handle it different. So if you're going through trauma and turmoil, this probably not your reading because this person got their shit together. I always say that because I'd be like, uh, whew. yeah. And within that, you're going to move very, very quick. This is information, feelings, emotions coming straight towards you. So within that, within you making that decision to, um, better yourself whether that strike other people the wrong way or uh, you know you're going to choose yourself first and that is going to keep you out of this <laughs> bounded and all that and a little more of this having the world in your hands well, this was Instinctual Tarot. I am Dre Eden, and this was a collective read before Halloween. Um, blessings.